Welcome back to Bolton Brass, folks. This is Remy, and today, if you haven't figured it out from the image on your screen, we are talking about the Faro Concept Slickster. I've had this one for a while. This has been my, for lack of a better term, main plate carrier uh, for a few years, and mainly because I wanted something thin, light, Discreet isn't really the right word, but something that you could put a sweatshirt on over top of and not have it be in your face visible. Uh, the main consideration was if there is a not so great situation potentially where I work uh, in that area, I wanted to have something available and I had talked about this with my employer and it was one of the things that was on our list and I was looking at options and for me, I don't need to carry a ton of gear. I don't need you know 15 magazines, three radios, you know, three days worth of uh, uh, food. You know, like that's not what my plate carrier is about. My plate carrier is about carrying armor. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I did get the cummerbund with pouches, so to speak. But despite the pictures, I, I don't think I've ever actually used it in normal use. Uh, I've put them in there, and then been like, nah, that seems stupid. The only thing I could see myself putting in those pockets would be either a radio, which, given how the pockets work, has to come out to use it other than to listen, or handgun magazines. Uh, the dual handgun magazines in the front pocket, the, you know, the first pocket, is doable, which you'll see in a minute. So, let's roll into it. Uh, the Ferro Concept Slickster is by Ferro Concepts. Uh, they are a U.S. company. Their products are made in the U.S. They are berry compliant. They are extremely well made. Do not let the fact that I'm going to repeatedly call this thing light duty, uh, thin, you know, the, the single layer stitching on a few places, do not confuse that with being poorly built. This is extremely well made. A lot of attention to detail was put into this. However, the Faro Concepts Slickster is not meant to be a heavy duty, carry the world through, you know, a full deployment in a combat zone kind of thing. This is much more about executive protection, uh, security work, things where, okay, you carry a few mags, you might not even have them on the plate carrier. You're looking for something you can be relatively discreet with, it's comfortable, it is lightweight. The way they accomplish this is by not having a million layers of material. There is not, you know, built in five layers of pockets and pouches and there's no extra padding where it doesn't need padding. If you need more padding, you're probably overloading this carrier. Maybe some shoulder padding, uh, not so much for the weight as I'll show you a picture in a bit. The shoulder straps are kind of sharp. So we're going to run through it. To start off with, when I say lightweight, 402 grams, grams, okay, 402 grams, this thing weighs almost nothing. So at the top, you've got the shoulder straps. They are Velcroed in at the back. At the front, they are stitched in right where you see the stitching, and there is almost no extra material. They do not come down into the carrier. So you've only got a small layer of stitching there with no extra reinforcement. However, you don't really need it. Uh, when I'm wearing this, the straps are not holding any significant weight. Uh, it, they're there for stabilization, they're there to keep it from slipping around, but they're not the weight-bearing portion. The weight-bearing portion is the fact that it's against your body, okay? So it doesn't take any heavy loads. Uh, however, it is strong. If you pull on those, there's no give. At the back, they are Velcroed in to a, a reasonable amount of Velcro in the Velcro in the slot that they slide into. So you can adjust that basically as long or short as you want. Uh, the straps are relatively long. I have them going through and into the plate carrier in the back several inches. Uh, so I, I could go several inches wider and I can go infinitely shorter because it's Velcro all the way up and over. And then you've got the edge of it where you can see that's kind of sharp. It, it's like a layer of nylon 
you know, a layer of ballistic cloth. And then, and Ferro Concepts Ballistic Cloth, very thin, very tight weave. Um, it is really nice stuff, but it is sharp edged. Uh, there, you know, it's not, it's not a fuzzy, soft, comfy edge. And then you have the, not, the Velcro backer, which, as we all know, the edge of that stuff is kind of sharp. Now, this picture is a little deceptive. You're seeing it at an angle a little bit, so it isn't really that thick on the Velcro. Uh, but it gives you an idea. I mean, you're, the actual edge there is pretty thin. And then you've got the back pocket where this is the outside of the carrier that you're seeing uh, with my finger stuck into the pocket. It just slides in. Uh, they give you a little little tool, a little plastic sheet, basically, that you can slide in to work the Velcro loose and help you adjust it. And then you pull the plastic sheet out, holding the rest of it in place. And that locks it in place and lets you uh, adjust the sizing. It's helpful. Uh, you can use almost anything. I, I, at this point, I just use my fingers if I need to adjust it. Now, the next thing that I think is worth looking at is the actual face of it. Uh, and we'll zoom in on, on the plate carrier itself here. But if you're looking at it, you've got the cummerbund attaches to the Velcro in the front. And you can adjust that however you want. Uh, I've got it adjusted so that in the back, the two Velcro sheets basically meet and don't overlap which gives me a ton of room in the front. Uh, when I'm wearing that, that's basically where the Velcro's at. And I'm not a small guy. Uh, I'm not massively overweight, but I'm definitely overweight. And that's where it fits. Now, if you put a, basically a, an ITW panel in there, uh, you know, a, a quick clips panel, you're gonna need a little more of that Velcro. You're gonna have to slide back and, and give it some space but as you can see, there's plenty of that. No issues, uh, which will come up on the review of a plate carrier coming up shortly, because I did buy another plate carrier, and it makes for an interesting comparison because they fill the same niche, and they accomplish it differently. Uh, I like this amount of overlap in the front because it puts the side pouches, the cummerbund pouches, right at the edge of the plate carrier. Okay, they're right there at the front as far forward as possible to start with, which means that if I put a magazine in there, it is right there to the front of my body. I don't have to reach around to the back for it at all. They're not in my way. Moving further up the plate carrier, we're gonna go to those ITW hooks, the loops that are in there. And your, your plates are directly behind that. There's no extra layer of padding. So if you have plates that have some sort of layer on top that is prone to wear, shall we say. Uh, not particularly good ballistic material, uh, straight ceramic, um, anything like that. Your ITW clips are going to be rubbing on that material, particularly for you guys doing steel plates with Linex. That stuff's abrasive. That stuff's really rough. And it will eat the ITW clips. No, no joke. Uh, as you're moving around, as things are shifting, it will eat them. However, it will eat this plate carrier. You do not want that abrasive Linex material touching the inside of this plate carrier. I don't care how tough the materials are. They are thin. They are not designed for that kind of abuse. You will wear out this plate carrier quickly. You will eat through the edges. The Velcro panel at the top, there is no internals to that. There's no admin pouch or anything in there. Uh, you could attach loops if you wanted to put uh, silo looms, if you want to put a pen, if you want to put anything like that, name strips, whatever. Uh, I've just got my old Blade Forums Wilderson Survival Patch. Uh, it's what I throw on there just because I have it and I like it. On the back, it's full width. So you can see on the back, it goes all the way across. You could put a name tape, a department plate, whatever you want, uh, US flag, uh, you know, what, whatever floats your boat, morale patches, anything. And then down at the bottom in the back, you've got the other big Velcro patch because even the back of the 
cummerbund panels are Velcro. So you can attach anything you want back there. You can also see in this picture that there's something a little, little unique. I haven't seen this on too many plate carriers. There are two laser cut Molly loops. Those are absolutely perfect for holding a drop pouch in the back, a med pouch in the back, a tourniquet. They're front and back, by the way. They're, I'm showing you the rear one, but there's, they're in the front and the back. You don't really want to hang anything of great weight. You want this to be relatively light uh, just because there's no extra support. Uh, it, it's sitting there at the bottom of your plate carrier. Keep in mind, your plate is going to sit right on there. Okay, so don't put anything that you don't want your plate rubbing against. If you have something that, you know, again, if you've got a plate with a very abrasive design, it's going to eat whatever attachment method is there. Uh, to show you the inside of a pouch, there we go. That loop, you could put a soft panel in behind it uh, because that is the inside. That's the, the back of it meaning that's the body side. The Velcro panel that you're looking at on the bottom, the black one, is not attached to the top. Uh, it is only Velcro, or only stitched on three sides, bottom and the two sides. So you certainly could slip a soft panel behind that and under the, vel under the elastic strap that's going up the top. Keep in mind, these pockets are not super deep. They do hold one inch plates. It's close. Uh, my plates are like anywhere from 0.9 to 1.1, depending on where you measure. And they fit, but it's snug. This is the back of the plate pocket. This is what you're wearing against your body. And it's comfy. It keeps you relatively cool. If you don't have it pulled really snug so that it never gets any wiggle room or breathing space, it breathes pretty well. Uh, I have not had any real issues. I think that's pretty much it. Now, you have seen a number of video, you know, a number of pictures here of this. You can tell how little wear and tear there really is on this. I've used this quite a bit. Uh, I, I don't treat it harshly, but I'm not super gentle. It holds up really well. I think the key is you can't treat it in a way that it wasn't designed to be treated, but as long as you're sticking to what it was designed for, it handles it really well. The material cleans up well. The Velcro is not the kind that grabs everything and doesn't want to ever let go. I have not had any real problems cleaning it out. Um, right now, obviously, you know, I don't have any plates in it. I have other plates that I'm looking at and I'm testing out my other plate carrier. So I've got my plates in there. Overall, I've been extremely happy with the Slickster. I think for the intended purpose of it, it is probably the best option unless you want an integral uh, kangaroo pouch, which is what the other ones got, which is why I picked it, uh, that and availability. And we will see that in a future video. So if you stay to the end, you get a little surprise. We are going to be doing a giveaway. I have a couple products coming in from SKD where I don't need all of it. Uh, I have several products that I that I bought that you get more than one pair, so to speak, uh, one more than enough in the pouch to accomplish what I need to accomplish. If you want to be part of the giveaway, you've watched this video, comment on this video, and then comment on the video about the next product, not the plate carrier, the accessory. Uh, you'll, you'll see it when you see it. Uh, there's no confusion. I'm obviously not giving away the plate carrier. However, there are a couple small, relatively inexpensive products that are going to be featured shortly. That's the video you want to comment on. I will put all those in a spreadsheet, random selection, and send them on out uh, because they're going to fit in a little envelope. And somebody will get a, you know, get a set. So take care, have fun, stay safe, y'all and practice with your gear, get training with your gear. It is very different shooting in a plate carrier, a chest rig, uh, 
different kind of belt setups, different gear on your gear, uh, on your kit to use the currently appropriate term. You know, putting mags in those side pouches feels very different than not having them in there. So practice what you want to use, get used to it. Take care all, I will talk to you later. Say hi. Oof. Oof. Oof.